The St. Isabel estate has been growing coffee for almost 40 years and roasting it on the premises. But coffee pickers have become harder to find. The farm usually hires 500 workers for its main harvest in November. This year it's only been able to get half as many. This has become a riskier job because of the virus. Even if we try to take care of ourselves, we end up having contact with people who come from many places, like now when we're eating. Coffee farms in Latin America depend heavily on migrant workers at harvest time. But the pandemic has caused labor shortages at farms in Mexico, Costa Rica and Colombia. Here in the Colombian state of Antioquia, officials say there's a deficit of 7,000 coffee pickers. Farm owners say the pandemic has made travel more expensive, discouraging many laborers. To make the job safer, coffee growers are taking biosecurity measures that include disinfection at the entrances to their farms. New dormitories have also been built at some farms so that workers are more spread out. Colombia's Coffee Growers Federation is also running campaigns on social media and setting up information booths at bus terminals where unemployed people can get in touch with farms that need labor. Coffee growers have invested a lot of time and money in this year's crop, so we are doing our best to get those beans collected. The outreach efforts have been able to attract some workers, including Venezuelan migrants who need to send money to their families. For us, the priority is to find work, so we cannot think too much about the virus. We need to gather money and forget about the pandemic. But many farms are still short on labor. Farmers say that it's hard to raise wages, so they're trying other ways of attracting workers. We put ads on the radio and every week we take a truck into town that has a megaphone on it and announces we have jobs. The truck offers to bring workers here for free but sometimes it comes back empty. Coffee prices have risen slightly this year as the supply of Arabica beans falls around the world. But if growers can't get their beans off the bushes, they can't take advantage. The Santa Isabel farm has 900,000 coffee bushes. Before these precious beans go to waste, it's all hands on deck to bring in the harvest. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Antioquia, Colombia.